It's Max Major, and this is episode 73 of the vlog. Yesterday, the world lost one of the most incredible teachers of our lifetime, Dr. Wayne Dyer. His work had a profound effect on my life. He wrote a book called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. He also has a YouTube video called The Shift. And I learned a couple core things from the work of Wayne Dyer. Number one is that our thoughts create our reality. Number two is that suffering is a mental construct. And number three, something that feels all too cliche, happiness is a choice. You know, it's something I heard over and over again, but that I never actually found true until he shared his perspective. In his book, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, he takes a look at the Tao Te Ching one verse at a time. Each day you read a new verse and he gives you his interpretation of it as well as some exercise to work on. And generally, I found these pretty easy to digest and very practical for everyday life. But I remember one time actually being frustrated or even pissed off by one of the passages that he wrote. He writes, living an unhurried life. And right in the center of the page, in bold text, he says that this passage of the Tao Te Ching suggests that you stop chasing your dreams. And I remember right away suddenly just boldly disagreeing with this as a statement without reading the rest of the text surrounding it. You know, this flew in the face of everything I believed and everything that I thought. That all that you accomplished in life was through chasing, through efforting, through force, through hustle. And this seemed to contradict all that. Until I thought a little harder about it. What I think that Wayne Dyer was suggesting was that our constant quest of attainment was perhaps something that we should let go of. My final realization was this. We're not talking about removing ambition. The key here is living an unhurried life, knowing that things unfold in their own time. There's one more thing I've never talked about in this vlog, and that's my relationship to drinking and alcohol. On Thanksgiving of last year, it's almost been a year now, I stopped drinking alcohol completely. And I tried many times to do this and failed because for me, it was always a question of will. And if it were a question of will, I would lose every time. My desire to drink won over my desire to feel good and to feel healthy or to not have another. And I saw a speech by Wayne Dyer where he talked about when he gave up drinking. And he had been, uh, now Wayne had stopped drinking for over 20 years. And he said for him, it was never about making it 20 years. He said he didn't know how long he would stop drinking for. He just knew that today wouldn't be the day. And that was something profound that changed my way of thinking about this. It no longer was a question of will. It was just about today. I had this realization that my thoughts were indeed creating my reality. And if that were true, well, then I could control my reality. I'd also say that his work was instrumental in my giving up of drinking, and it reframed how I look at everything in life, to know that I only want to do things that make me more, and I never want to do anything that makes me less. You know, many times when someone passes, it's a time of sadness and a time of mourning, but from what I've read of Wayne's work, he wouldn't want us to be sad. He would want us to be grateful for the life he had lived and excited for the new chapter of his journey. Thanks, Wayne.